I first noticed something was wrong with my son was when he was nine months old and we were going to my brother-in-law's birthday party. And my sister goes, his face looks a little swollen. Does it look a little swollen to you? And I said, no, I think he's just puffy from waking up and allergies. And it was the next morning, my husband, he woke up crying and he never wakes up crying. And my husband came and got me and he goes, he's swollen. And his face was very swollen. I'm thinking he's had an allergic reaction to something. And we run up to urgent care. And after talking about the symptoms with the doctor, about his upset stomach, um, she looked him over and she goes, I think he has a, some pink eye. Later on in that day, Danielle called me over um, kind of hyperly and said, there's something wrong. Uh, he was limp and his eyes were not focusing on anything. It seemed like he was breathing, had a heartbeat and everything, but we knew that something wasn't right. We drove like crazy to the hospital. And when we got there, I, I just remember jumping out of the car with him in my arms to the nearest nurse and said, he won't stop twitching. And she said, I remember her turning to me and goes, how long has he been seizing? And I go, it's a seizure? And they told me then he's going into renal failure. And, he, and he's starting to bloat. And I just remember they had to intubate him because they couldn't stop the seizures. We did dialysis for a couple days and then we did the plasmapheresis for a couple days because we didn't know if his kidneys would recover at the time. All these, they said we're gonna have in-home care, all these nurses coming in and out of our home. I was, it was so overwhelming and scary. Justice had an entire teams of doctors initially. Anywhere from 15 to 20 doctors. It was heart-wrenching to see that all these medical experts would be coming in and giving their thoughts and checking him and all of his symptoms and diagnoses and trying to figure out what it was. The doctor came after, like they said, three to four, four to five days approximately. And he actually sat us down out in the little corridor and uh, said, I think I finally have it figured out of exactly what Justice is diagnosed with and he broke it to us. His own immune system is fighting his own body, his own blood. So as the blood, as it tears apart his um, blood platelets, they fall apart and they've been clogging into his kidneys. I know it can cause other organ damage, hence his seizure, but um, they clog the kidneys, sensing and causing renal failure. We took, me and my husband took a minute to ourselves and Children's Garden, or Children's Hospital has a garden, a rooftop garden, and we went over there and we just sat and we kind of cried. Because we were like, what's this mean for our life now? What's going to happen? Nope. <gasps> it's a banana, good job. Yeah. He gets so excited about the little things. We get so many first reactions with him. To see his first time going down the slide, the first time on a swing. And to see his face light up when he gets the airborne off the swing. We're so lucky we get to go and watch him eat ice cream and enjoy his first time doing that. And lucky to see him take him to go see his first set of fireworks or take him to the park. Justice makes you almost read a book to him the first minute that he wakes up in the morning. The last thing that he does. The little things of taking my kid to the store or taking him to the park, going to the parades. I, I, it was at one point I didn't think we were going to have that. And now, now that I have it, it it's, every day is a very big blessing for us.